Davey Saturday saw a United Worth, I think it's five players who have graduated from the academy on the pitch and you're here today with uh, three of them. Is this a good moment for you in terms of what you were always talking about, pathways and encouraging others? Yeah, um, very much so. Um, brilliant moment. Brilliant moment and uh, the academy's development. Um, you know, we, we started this journey off probably 10, 12 years ago, Callum. Um, but it's mainly an important moment in the young players' um, pathway, if you like. Um, they, they represent themselves uh, so well every day when they were within the academy and they're getting the opportunity to represent themselves so well within the first team environment. Um, and I think to have a moment in a game where we could have five players involved, it de definitely sends a message to all the other young academy players that if you have the correct uh, principles and values and the correct ability, then the pathway is without, without a doubt there. Um, so credit to the young players and kind of credit to, to the manager and the club for you know, kind of believing in the pathway and believing in, the, in, the, in terms of the academy players. Now, another thing is, I heard you say you, you had a bunch of school kids who were training uh, a couple of days ago from Alloway Primary, and I heard you standing around saying to them, look at these guys around you here, they've come from the local area. That's a great thing, and it looks like a pathway for them as well, but also, does this, and being seen so much, it's been on TV, it's been on radio, it's on the papers, does that help attract other players from out with our local area? Yeah, it, it could do potentially. What I have to say is, again, the, the, the kind of recruitment plan for us at the academy is very much about local players, and very much about Ayrshire based, and Friesen Galloway based, and Max. Instance, you know, the kind of the kind of Renfrewshire uh, based players. That that was what we set off to do. We we really wanted local players who had an affiliation to play with a with a local club. In this case, the professional club being Air United. Um, if it encourages others, great. But you know what? It's probably just keep on that journey of encouraging the best local players and the good local players to, to come to Air United. And before we go to the guys, have you many more coming through? Have you got that? Uh, continuous pathway coming already? We, we certainly like to think so. Um, I think we have. I think, I think um, over, over the years we have become better at what we do at the academy and I think over the years we've been, became better at how we transition the academy player into the first team or into professional football. So I think because we are better at that we've, we've got better support mechanisms for the young players. I definitely think we've got the talent. I mean, you can have all the pathways and structures, but you require the talent. Um, and these three, and, and, and Fraser, who was, who was involved in the game, and young Dylan, who was involved in the game, they've got the talent and they've got the, the, the attributes and the attitude to, to, to buy into what we're trying to do with the structure, um, and you can see the benefits of that. Davey, you mentioned Dylan there. Um, was his performances for the 18s and the reserves this season something that made you want to give him his debut on Saturday? Yeah, it's consistency, his performances, um, and I think these guys, when, when they open up, will talk to you about that's probably one of the outcomes we look for, to know that a young player is ready to make a transition. Um, it's the consistency of his performances and his consistency of his performances at training, and that's what young Dylan has shown, really consistent in his 18s games. Um, got an opportunity to reserve football and was so consistent um, in the reserves and thoroughly deserved to, to, be, to be involved with the first team. In the first team now, there's a player in every position that's involved in some way that's came up through the academy. How important is that for the players in the academy that they have someone to look up to that's been in the same position as them? Yeah, great question. Um, because that's ultimately what a pathway is. Um, at first team level we try and have a plan that shows there is an academy player for every position but as I said earlier what we do have now is we have the benchmarking and the benchmarking is these guys here um, so they benchmark by um, we know how they come through the system and the things that worked or the things we could do better but they're also just role models for the, all the other players that are within there um, I, I was fortunate to be on the academy training pitch on Tuesday and you can hear the young players talk about these guys. Um, when we have events uh, and there's first team players there, I have to say our young academy, our young academy players, the 11, 12, 13 year olds, it's these guys they look for. Um, and that, that's fantastic, that kind of shows there's a pathway and it shows there's a role model. 
what, what I would say there, it does put pressure on these guys to make sure they are the role models, but they will be and they've done that and uh, yeah, it's just, uh, it's a really good place to be uh, in terms of if you're an academy player right now, um, if you can show the, the strengths and the skill sets that these guys have done. Mark, um, you're sort of one on one since really put the benchmark down, you're a regular in the team. Um, looking back, what was it about the way that the academy worked that helped you to get where you are today? Um, I think as you go through from year to year, there's um, a lot of different progressions with how serious the, the game becomes. At first, you're only developing, you're working on different patterns, and that's kind of the more um, thing that you work on week to week and then as you step through the years you're starting to look more towards um, the three points and going for the cups and different things like that um, so that kind of progress from um, more development football through to, to the serious um, cup stuff is, is quite quite something. And Finn, uh, with you, I believe I read in one of the local newspapers that you're due a testimonial for <laughs> the time that you've been at the club. You have been here for a while and you, you're, really sh you're showing on Saturday there uh, was worthy of the praise that uh, Lee Bowen gave you. What did it feel like today? No, obviously it was a really proud moment for me to um, get my first start in the league. Um, also first start at Somerset, so it is. So, not for me, it's something that since me and Paul when we came in when we were 10 years old, it's something that you've built on for the past, maybe it's 10 years or 9, 8, whatever, but like, it's a very, very proud moment for me and I was really happy with how I played. And you played it right back on Saturday. How did you find that experience playing at the opposite side of the pitch you normally play at? Well, obviously for me it was a challenge, but it's a challenge that I was very, I was more than happy to take on. Um, obviously, normally I play on my left side, but people, you look at bigger teams, you know, you've got Man City, Jao Cancelo, he plays on the opposite side, so it's people you can look up and go, people have done it before, so for me, that's players that I can look to and go, if they can do it, then I need to be able to try and do it myself. Oh, um, again, you're now one of these guys that we just say is there or thereabouts, so you're always with the first team. Again, it's one of these things, you can't think that you shouldn't be there, but how do you feel your development has gone this season in particular? I think it's been good this season, but I think it was more the tail end of last season, coming back for coming up and loan and then maturing a bit, and then obviously we get Mark and Roy and Murdoch in last year, who were two really good players to learn off, and then it's the same this year with Bangs, Murdy and Ben, so I think every day I'm learning, but it's my job to make sure I can try and get in the team and push Ben and Murdy every day. The last game of the season against Partick Thistle, you really got to show fans like what you're about. How do you think that helped you coming into this season? No, it did. It definitely gave me a lift. Obviously, it was a kind of, I kind of knew the week before I was going to play, so I was, I was nervous. But once you got on, you're away and f you're fine. And then it does give you a lift because I feel some of you are ready to come back. The probably only bad thing about it was I wish there was a few more games after it. But obviously, it was the last one. And again, uh, Lee Bullen mentioned about you that uh, you got the experience of playing an away game against Dundee, one of the favoured sides in this league, and he said that would be a massive experience for you, a tough game for you to go into. It was very tough, again, you're playing against what last year with Premier League players, so it's, again it's a lift because I felt as if I went in and I held my own, I know we never got the result, but you play 75 minutes at, at the top level, apart from obviously league above, and again, you want to win, but you come off with a wee bit of confidence and how you left? I, I think Callum, uh, it's not just this weekend for these lads, it's every weekend. I think that's where, credit to them, I think that's where they've got themselves in the position in terms of being in their first team squad. So I think their goal is every weekend they have to keep pushing and keep pushing and keep driving to make sure they're involved and I'm very comfortable that's what they'll do because I see them, I see them working every day and I see them engaging, you can hear them talking, I see that. They're very humble in what they do, the lads, um, but they come in every day with the correct attitude, the correct, the correct work ethic um, to try and drive, to push, because I'm pretty sure we'll all agree when they first started this journey, the biggest thing was trying to play for Air United. Um, they're in a fortunate position. They can do that and they can affect that now, and it's a credit to them that they're at, they're at that point in their careers. Um, again, I'm very fortunate that through their, through their academy journey, and even in their first team journey, I, I see them all the time. 
Um, so there's, there's a kind of games and moments that just stick out for me. And one of the reasons they stick out for me is now that they're impacting the first team, I can reference back to those games and I can now see what they did in those academy games they're bringing to the first team games. If I go for Mark as the oldest, maybe slightly different, but for Mark, one of his breakthrough games for me was the 2-0 away to Morton. Um, we just unfortunately lost the management team. Um, Mark, Mark came in and played in a really, really important game for the club, but we absolutely knew what Mark would give us. He was probably our go-to player in that game, and I think that was a game that Mark was able to showcase his skills, and I think it was a game that probably gave Mark a lot of confidence to get where he is. And I think that's a game that Mark should be really appreciated for what he, what he gave there. Um, coming to the next oldest in Paul, I've always got a memory of an under-18 game. We played Celtic. Um, we didn't win the game. The score was 5-3. But I think for me, I, I don't think I'd ever seen an academy midfield player being so dominant and composed against a really good opposition. Um, he was absolutely fantastic. He drove the midfield. He, he drove the, the team back into the game. And there's a wee bit of me that kind of reflects on what Paul did against Partick in the last game of the season. And then when I come to Finn, um, I've always got a memory of I'm playing for Scotland against England. And I saw him having a really mature, disciplined performance. Tactically, he was excellent. He scored the winning goal and it was brilliant to see that. But again, I have to say, I've got a memory of that game that Finn rolled into Saturday's game versus Wraith Rovers. So I hope you can see that the, the, the kind of skills they showed as young players, the first team and the club are hopefully benefiting from that now with the performances they're given.